Good afternoon and welcome back. We start, as usual, with our first item of business, Time for Reflection. And our Time for Reflection leader today is Dr Kathleen Forbes, former director of the Family Life Centre Ministries, Stirling Baptist Church in Stirling. Presiding officer, members of the Scottish Parliament, ladies and gentlemen, over the last eight years, I have been involved in the establishment of a Family Life Centre in Stirling a much needed community resource. Over these years, I founded a play therapy service, a school counselling service, an adult listening service, a family counselling service, a community bereavement course, a third sector families and children forum, and a hub of other therapeutic support. The impact of this for me was twofold. One, I had enormous pleasure doing this work in the name of our church. Stirling Baptist Church. It was for me a practical demonstration of the restoring, redemptive love of our God for all that he has created. The other great impact was personal. Of the thousands of people who came through our doors, I had the privilege of being with children, young people, adults, couples, families, as they used the space that we offered to pause, to step back, and to reflect on their inner worlds. In these times, they reflected, they talked, they often felt their pain more acutely, they grieved, they forgave, they found solutions and a way forward. Their stories were heard and they were held. I have a new role training trainee teachers in Scotland about mental health issues in the classroom. I have immediately been reminded by one of the second year students of the power of our life experiences. He commented after a seminar group, we are all different and we all have our stories. I would encourage you today to remember the stories of your constituents who have touched you, whose care you carry. In our aspirations to make Scotland the best place to grow up, we need also to make Scotland the best place to be parented, to be taught and to be healed. We need then to be able to offer God's unbreakable, unquenchable hope into sometimes the darkest of places so that their stories can change. We can choose to trust all these stories and our hope of making a difference into the hands of our trustworthy Heavenly Father, resting in the knowledge that Jesus, with clear-sighted compassion into our hearts, sees the toil the sorrow and the weight of these upon us. He offers us in these moments of reflection, once again, the chance for our burdens to be lifted and rest and hope to be found in the enduring truth that our eternal God is our refuge and underneath are his everlasting arms. Thank you. Thank you. 